All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasha Allah. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Achak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Achak, Wadash, Barak, Adam. To his aquanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafium. You know, you elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect, out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence, make it call it an election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai, in these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai, Ba'an Yahshua'ala, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Ba'an Shemiah Shai on this article it came across, and it's entitled Future Virus More Deadly Than C Will Spark New Pandemic, World Health Organization Chief Warns. And this came out May 24th, 2021. That you have hastened into the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as coined by the elder apostle Tahar through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. God's will be hastening for the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. When Heavenly Father sent back the beloved Son to deliver the elect and lower them, we, 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 we be a part of that number, right? So, what is this letting you know? This is indicating that Esau about to release more things out here. Because we got to remember, according to the scriptures, as a matter of fact, we'll get that. We'll start off with that, right? Um, so like, yeah. We'll start off with this preset. Then we read some of that article. Uh, we're going to get Psalms 17, and I believe it's verse 13, right? So, so, um, so I get Psalms 17, 13. Arise, O Yahweh, by Shami Shai. Disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And we know the wicked is Esau Eden, pursuant to Malachi, which I'm going to bring out right fast through the spirit. Malachi, the first chapter. Malachi 1 and 1, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau, Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the nation of Edom. The border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. You know, so who's the wicked? You know, Esau Edom. So like it was it at? Let me go back. All right, Psalm 17 and 13 again. Arise, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So Esau, Esau is that wicked, and that's the sword of the heavenly father on the left hand side. You know, so Esau. Being a sword of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on the left hand side, he's getting ready to, to release more diseases out here, man. More viruses, you know, to spark a new pandemic. Because you know the Illuminati, you know, the Freemasons, the Secret Society, Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove, these elites, these wicked ass elites on down, you know, they have a saying, a, mo a motto, you know, never let a good crisis go to waste. So they're using the sea. I'm, I'm going to choose my words wisely because I want to say the full thing and they strike this channel. That's another thing. Esau, you've been striking channels left and right, but you can't do nothing to stop this word. You can't do nothing against the truth, but it's just for the truth. Because that's further in the prophecy. It's letting us know that we're closer and closer to the second coming of our Lord and Savior. Right? But yeah, uh, Esau said what? Oh no, Saki, uh, the title of this article is Future Virus More Deadly Than C Will Spark New Pandemic World Health Organization Chief Warns. So they're not warning you. They're just telling you. Listen, I'm letting you know what I'm about to do. You know, technically it could be a warning, but you know, they just letting you know what they but, but they got planned to do. They about to release something more deadly than a C. You know, what you gonna see on people's faces, man. The whole C thing was BS, man. You know, nothing worse than a flu. If you catch this C, you could just, you know, uh drink some lemon, some ginger, things that's good for your for the um for the body, man. You know what I'm saying? Boil it, you know, some honey, some lemon, some gingers, you'll be alright. You see? Uh things that's good for the immune system. Right, and then you go flush that thing out. You know, using a natural herbs and stuff like that. You don't gotta take no V, you know, no no juice, you know, that thing to get cured by this, you know, so-called, you know, uh, um, C, Uno, Nueve, right? But Esau letting you know that now is about to be something even deadlier than that. You see, so they 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 played on people's fear and made people afraid of this C, Uno, Nueve, and now they're about to release something more deadly. And it's gonna it's gonna push people into that corner to just automatically trust and rely on Esau Edom, the government, the elites on down. So they're gonna anything the government release could they release something and then try to bring a solution for it. Problem, reaction, and solution. Esau will bring forth the problem, 
He look at the reaction of the people, then bring forth a solution. You know, and that solution will be what? Getting juiced up. You see? And everyone gonna line up for it, man. Understand that. And then you know what they gonna line up for next, you know, the MOB. But yeah, so I'm gonna read this article, get a couple precepts, and I pray it's edifying. Just, you know, re remain on your watch, brothers. You know, we're, we're approaching that time. We're real close. You know, UAP side, you so called UAP side in, so called UFO side in, which are the chariots of Israel. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's indication how close we are to the end of this man's kingdom. And he's getting desperate now. So now he's about to release more things, which ultimately is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord said in the book of 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter, in verse 5, Behold, I will send plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, destruction. Right? So let me read some of this article, then get a couple precepts. So let's read the title again. Future virus more deadly than C. Uno Nueve will spark new pandemic, World Health Organization Chief warned. So they're basically letting you know um, they about to release something to the public. Because I was looking at the comments on Dabu 7, um, Dabu 77, his um, video he did on this. Right in the comments, the, the the main comments was one of them said they're doing everything that they can to kill everyone, you know. And I remind me of the Georgia Guidestones, how they only want 500 million people on the earth. They want to maintain the population of the human race to 500 million people, and it's about is roughly this Esau's estimate, right? Seven point something billion people on the earth, you know. That's Esau's estimate, right? Because you can't number the children of Israel as it is written in the Book of Hosea, the, I believe the first chapter, you know, verse 10. Right, but according to Esau, the seven point something billion people on the earth, and they, they want to bring it down to 500 million, so they want to kill seven billion people. You know, they want to kill seven billion people. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's seven point like nine billion, they want to kill seven point like six billion, you know, or seven point uh five billion, whatever, something around along those lines, you know. So that's that this comment is on point. They're doing everything they can to kill everyone because they have a new world order agenda. The elites on down. Another another comment said, "Translation: We will release more and more diseases and diseases upon you." You know, so he he basically said, "Translation to this video, man. Listen, man. This is what you saw saying. We're gonna release more and more diseases, disasters, and diseases upon you." That's what the comment said. Then a third comment said, "In other words, see si uno nueve didn't kill enough as we hoped, so we're gonna release another virus." And they showed you that inside the um the the show The Simpsons. When they wanted to release, I think they called it the Meow virus, something like that. The release of virus. And he said, come in, NBC. You know, your brother should know the video I'm talking about. Come in, NBC. And they, they jabbed NBC up and he fell on the floor. And he said, now we need to um uh, come up with a name for it. You know, something like that. It just go, you saw just letting you know what they do behind closed doors in that big office in an oval circle. They come up with different things to, to release on the public to further their agenda, you know, of world domination. So let me read some of this article, then get a couple precepts. So it says, a virus even more transmissible than and fatal than C. Uno Nueve will lead the world into, uh, into the next pandemic. So people thinking in their minds, things about to go back to normal, but Esau got things planned, man. That's why you're supposed to be on your watch in these last days and continuously praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, speed up the time for the elect's sake. And we're at the end, man, you know? It's clear as day, the time that we're living in. Right, but people in the world they don't see it. Right, you saw not letting this crisis go to waste, man. He's trying to bring forth that NWO, you know. And people gonna have to make the decision very soon who they gonna serve. You either gonna serve the devil, Esau, the beast system, made in the EU, and that and that whore that rides upon the beast was America, Babylon, the Great, or you gonna serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, live for righteousness' sake, man, and and be willing to get persecuted for righteousness' sake, man, you know. So people gotta make the decision very soon. There's no in between. There's no in the middle. You know, either you down with the beast or you down with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Choose right now, because the Lord got the prophets out here teaching, preaching, and prophesying, and you got people, you know, scoffing, mocking, walking by, not trying to get down with it, wasting their time, tearing to turn to the Lord. As it's written, tear, don't tear to turn to the Lord, man. Putting that off day to day, you know, because when 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 the Lord brings forth that judgment, you're gonna get caught up in it, man. You know, so let's read this again. So it says a virus even more transmissible and fatal than C Uno Nueve will lead the world into the next pandemic. They're they creating these viruses inside laboratories, man. Come on now. Then it says the, the, um, the director general of the World Health Organization, um, WHO, has said nothing the evolutionary certainty, certainty like of a such occurrence. Make no mistake. This will not be the last time the world faces the threat of pandemic. You know, you, you got that right. So uh, Tedros uh, at Hamnam 
whatever, told the UN agency's annual assembly of health ministers from its 194 member states on Monday, it's an evolutionary certainty that there will be another virus with, with the potential to be more transmittable and more deadly than this one. Come on now. These are the times that we in. Our Lord Yahweh Shah told us of these things, man. And I'm gonna put the rest of this in the, in the scripture box below. You know, I'm not gonna read this whole entire thing. I'm trying to get straight to the point with it. So we're gonna start off with Matthew the 24th chapter, right? And you saw, you a goddamn devil if you strike this channel because I'm just reading the scriptures, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But Esau hate the scriptures, but it's all right. You know, Matthew 24 and 3. And, and as he sat, who's the he? Yahweh Shai. Our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His real name is Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, his real name is Yahweh. That's a true name of the Heavenly Father. That's not a title, Captain Tazariak. You know, his name is Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he is, he is to be, he exists. You see? So Matthew 24 and 3. And as he, Yahweh Shai, sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So he was asking them the signs of his, of his second coming and of the end of the world. And that world right there, I believe is Eon, which goes to an age. You see, the end of whose age? Esau. So the end of this society, the, this beast system Esau is setting up, you know? And as it's written in the book of 2nd Edith 6, chapter verse 9, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So verse 4, it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name. And that's another thing right now. I just want to put this out there. Esau, doing a, uh, he's doing a lot of deception. You know, he got people thinking things are going back to normal. So now you see parks filled with people now. People trying to go back out. They want to go back to the clubs, you know, partying and BSing, you know. So Esau got that deception out there. Like, all right, now I think everything about to go back to normal, you know. Then we're going to hit him with this next, you know, you know planned dimmick. You know, and then they're going to submit to our will. You know, they're going to submit to our, our juices, our, our things, our jabs. You see, our Vs. You know, then ultimately they're going to submit to the to, to the MC, which is the MOB. You know, trying, you know, you better know what I'm talking about, right? So verse 5, it says, uh, well, Take ye no, no man deceive you. Verse 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. You know, that's what Christ means, anointed. But Yahweh Shah, he's the anointed Hamashiach. You know, so people going people come and saying they anointed, you know, like a lot of false prophets, you know, you got, man, it's sad, but you know, you got some Jake's, you know, you got Jeremy Johanna saying, take the V, you got Bishop Nathaniel saying, um, the names don't matter. There's no Jacob's trouble. The MOB, uh, is not the MC, you know, they saying all type of things, man. So it's a lot of false prophets out there that know the truth, but they teach it falsely because they're under the 501c3. Now you got some camps that teach that the MOB is something that is not innate, but they sincerely believe that, you know? And the Lord may open up, the, if they part of the elect, the Lord will open up their minds to understand what the MOB truly is, you know? Because you got some Jakes out there that's really sincere about what they're teaching, but you got Jakes that's literally wolves in sheep's clothing, man, you know, that know they're wrong, you know, know what they're doing is off, but they just, man, they wax and worse and worse, man. You see, they're getting paid, right? Just had to throw that out there. A lot of false prophets, you know, they deceive in many. People are getting deceived, man. But verse 6, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. And we hear that almost all the time now. You know, you got that, that tension going on in the South China Sea. I believe it's Australia. Uh, I know Babylon over there, is, um, also known as America. Uh, and I think France, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're over there doing, you know, military drills, military war drills over there in South China Sea to intimidate China. And, and Xi Jinping basically said, listen, man, you know, y'all doing that for no reason because we're not intimidated. We, we ready to defeat the United States, man. They said that. And I believe like two, three years back, Xi Jinping said they waiting for America to fight the first shot and they'll be glad to do the next. So it just shows the time that we in. Wars and rumors of wars. Then you got the whole tension going on with Amal um, Amalek, you know, the Israelis and the Palestinians, you see. So we, we see what's going on over there in, in the land of Israel, man. You see. Which further proves that they're not the true people of the Heavenly Father because there'll be peace once the true nation of Israel go back to their land, you know, there'll be no war between the nations at all, you know, they'll be, they'll just be under the Israelites, you know, in subjection, you know, slaves and servants, you know, but in any event, so that shows war, rumors of war, right? You got, also, you got King Jong Un doing nuclear missile tests. He's testing his nuclear arsenal. And that's in draw the third chapter. They beat and they, they turn their plowshares into swords and they prune hooks into spears. They're getting their weaponry ready for World War Three, right? 
So it says, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. That's race wars. And we see that brewing up all around. Like I just mentioned, the Malachites versus Palestinians. You got um, over here in America, Babylon the Great. You got uh, the Black Lives Matter, Antifa versus white supremacist groups, stuff like that. You know, it was just one Edomite that basically said last year there was an election. This year there's not. So he said, yo, be ready. We about to, we about to come down with holy help. That's basically what he said. And he had the look of a demon on him. You know, so that's, man, these Edomites, they ready, man. You know, and a lot of you, Jace, they get put to death. You know, I want to grab up guns and arms, and then you go, you know, that's not your blessing. You know, then you're going to go to war with Esau. Esau will be training in the woods since he was a fucking kid. <laughs> you know, that's his blessing, man. You know, his sword, you know. But in any event, let's read them down. So it says, for nation, so for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. That's World War Three, right? Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. That's the point. Pestilences, right? Let's go into that word pestilence, right? I'm, I'm gonna pull it up in etymology as well. So pestilence, pestilent, right? It says um, a pestilent fellow, pest, plague, right? A plague. But I'm gonna pull up an etymology, etymology, etymology online dictionary. Gonna pull up plague. I mean, it's like a pestilence, right? Pestilence. Right now, watch this pestilence. Um, C thirteen hundred, C thirteen hundred. Any infectious or contagious disease, fatal epidemic, right? Plague epidemic, directly from the Latin pestilen uh, pestilentia, a plague in in wholesome what? Slack yeah, in wholesome atmosphere, right? Infected. Infe is uh, that reminds me of a video game Call of Duty? They got a, a thing called infected. It was kind of like zombies, man. These people was infected. They was chasing you. You know what I'm saying? Um, with a knife, whatever the case. You know, whole, whole, uh, unwholesome, um, noxious, right? From the pestis, deadly disease plague, right? Let's go back. Right, so that's, that's, yup, yup, yup. You pertain to a plague, right? So now let's go back to where I was at. Matthew 24, right? And verse seven, for nation for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. And it was just a 7.4 earthquake in China. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I was in China, man. You know, like a couple of days back, a couple of days back. So famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in, in diverse places. Verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Oh, for the famine, the word famine means hungry or hunger. In a, in a Google definition, it says what? Um, an extreme scarcity of food and water. And um, I believe it was a World Health Organization or the, you know, the United Nations. The UN warned of a biblical famine, a famine of biblical proportions. And that was last year. And, they, and I believe they, they warned that twice. You see? Which goes short. They plan on shutting down the, the, the food supply. You know? Because the food will get brought from these farms to the trucks. And the trucks delivered to your no local neighborhoods. Your supermarkets, your stores, stuff like that. You know, and with, with gas, gas prices, you know, going up because of the whole so-called cyber attack, which, you know, ESO planned that, that's going to lead to food prices going up. You know, that's going to lead to people can't afford gas and food. It's going to lead to chaotic times. You know, it's going to lead to famine, you know, and then you got this about to get released to the public, this future virus right here. Let's go back to the title. Future virus more deadly than C. Uno Nueve was sparking new pandemic. You know, the World Health Organization chief warns. They letting you know that this, what we got planned, you know. And that's all Esau's self-fulfilling fulfilling prophecy. He would tell you it, then bring it to pass. And he'd tell you it through the TV shows, the movies. Like, it's no, it's no coincidence how they're coming up with a um, a, a Forever Purge movie. Uh, basically, the purge, that's forever. It's not no no more tw 12 hours, you know, one day we get to kill everybody. No. Now he's saying it's forever. And he also came with a movie called Army of the Dead with Batista and the, and the Jake from Power. You know, and basically goes to, you know, zombies, stuff like that. Man, listen, man. Esau, then also the CDC warned basically of a zombie apocalypse. You know, they gave out tips on how to survive it. So Esau got some shit planned, man. Esau probably got this virus inside of somebody, inside of a laboratory, and inside some tubes somewhere, bugging the hell out, you know, uh, foaming out the mouth, bleeding everywhere, trying to bite somebody, and can't wait to get let loose out of that tube. They show you that in different movies and TV shows, man. You know, don't be surprised. 
You know, I would, I won't, I know, I won't be surprised if I see zombies out here, man. Just, just being honest. That, that might be the next pandemic. <laughs> Who knows, right? But let's get the next precept. First Thessalonians five verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, because you know we're on our watch. You see, the brothers, you know, starting with the elders, apostles on down. You know, we're supposed to be on our watch, man. You know, verse two. For yourselves know perfectly, perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So it's gonna come when people least suspect it. Because a thief in the night not gonna knock on the door, wait for you to come answer him. No, man. The thief in the night gonna break in while you sleeping. You know, you lacking, you know, you slipping, you see? And you're gonna have to wake up and just deal with it. And that's gonna be people in the world. You know, people that's in the world that's not down with this truth. Once all hosts are once all hosts are breaking loose, you see in the day of the Lord, you know, comes, they're gonna have to just deal with it, man. That's what a lot of people gonna panic, but not the elect, because the elect on their watch, like Paul just mentioned, as he's writing, he's writing his letter to the church in Thessalonica, right? He basically said, "But of the times and seasons, in the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, because they understood the time they was in, you know." But verse two says, "For yourselves know perfectly, perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not." Escape and they saying it right now peace and safety man, but guess what sudden destruction is coming upon everybody That's not down with this truth Verse 4 but ye brethren are not in darkness. So we're not in darkness man We the children of light right that that day should overtake you as a thief Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober So brothers remain on your watch man you know, man on your watch is about to go down. You know, shit about to get lit. Excuse my French. <laughs> right, but, but let's read this. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then, see what? Seeing all these things come to pass, you know, we got to walk circumspectly, man. Right, let's read it. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You know, using wisdom, right? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We have some evil, satanic, demonic ass days, man. We see Esau's agenda, you know, Esau's satanic ass agenda, Playing out right for very eyes, man. But we know that we know the end all be all. We know Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna bring this devil down. And all you Jakes that's down with this devil, y'all going down too. Let's read this Ezekiel 3, and this may be the last one. Right, Ezekiel 3, but I want to start at. Uh, okay. Ezekiel 3 and 10. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, going to Ezekiel. All my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear it with thine ears, and go and get and get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people, the Israelites, and speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So we're letting you know this is about to get bad out here in this world, whether you want to listen or not, man. You know, ultimately we know it's up to Yahweh Bashim I was part of the elect or not, you know, but we still gotta bring forth that warning to get that blood off our hands, because the Lord bless us with his gift. To understand what's going on in in this world and to know the future you know because we're prophesying we're prophets we're prophesying telling before to say before you know we, we're foretelling the things the events that's going to come on this earth whether you listen or not you know just how Noah was doing you know preaching for 120 years you know people you know the sons of god back then were thinking Noah was bugging out i ain't no i never seen no rain there ain't rain coming you know that's like right now we let you know the sword is coming death is coming destruction coming East about to come down with great rap to enforce his NWO, you know, and people like, man, man, fuck out of here. That's not happening. That's not gonna happen in our lifetime. Man, man, I got 50 more years. The end of the world gonna happen in 50 years. That's what Jake say, man. And that's what people in the world say. But guess what? Nah. The Lord said, whether they hear it for bear, or get a warning from me. They'll jump down. Verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. So we ought to warn ya. Verse 18, when I, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not a warning, nor, nor speakest a warning the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hands. So if we don't come out here and warn y'all, y'all still gonna die, but y'all blood will be on our hands. Verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked, so if we warn y'all that the sword is coming, pestilence is coming, famine is coming, earthquakes is coming, the day of the Lord is coming, fire brimstone is coming, martial law is coming, FEMA camps, construction camps, Isolation facilities, you know, lawlessness, cash society, the MOB, you know, if we don't warn about this, right, yet, um, um, if we don't warn y'all, then y'all blow be on our hands, we all give it to death. But now it says, what, verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, 
he shall die in his iniquity, but thou has delivered thy soul. And I, that made me want to get this last precept. Uh, second Ezra 15 and verse 1. Not 16. 15. Right? In verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord, and cause dumb to be written in the paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of dumb trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, save the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know, so the Lord told us, speak thou in the ears of his people the words of prophecy. You know, these future events is about to come to pass very, very soon, you know? So I pray this edifying straight to the point, you know, it's the future virus more deadly than the sea on the web, you know, that's gonna spark a new pandemic and it's coming, man. You know, cause we know through the spirit, Esau not gonna let this crisis go to waste. He gonna use this to further his agenda for his NWO, right? So I pray this edify. Listen, brothers, and if you sis out there as well, stay on your watch, continue praying, fast as much as you can, you know, continue enduring all until at the end. You know, be willing to fully forsake this wicked ass world, man. Forsake any worldly possessions, whatever the case may be for your how about Shemiah Shai. Because Esau gonna come down with it and he gonna say, listen, oh, like like um creepy Joe said, those who's unjabbed up will pay the price, you know. I might have to do a lesson like that next, Lord willing, you know. But basically, what does that let you know? That they about to, you know, roll down, you know, on those that don't don't that don't get juiced up. You know, so if you don't take the juice, you're gonna be um an outcast in society, basically. You won't be able to travel. You know, you can't renew your license. You know, you can't pay your rent. You're going to lose your job. So you got to fully understand to bear your cross and be willing to forsake everything for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Tell this world, the kingdom of heaven is not at hand. So I want to give all honor, infinite, all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. May Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chak Wadash Babak Shah Babak Shah Babak Shah Bad Babal.